find this missing nine-year-old over the past few days. Your support, your prayers, your love, your good energy, it has paid off, it has made the difference, and we are incredibly thankful. I'm with Sheriff Breedlove. He'll have a few remarks in a moment, but first we want to give you an opportunity to hear from the rescuers who actually made that incredible discovery here within the past 30, 45 minutes. Matt Reese, Logan Fryer, and Larry Simmons. They are with the Christian County, Kentucky Rescue Team. Gentlemen, if you want to step forward, and maybe if you'll just start off by telling us a little bit about what happened and what you found and what you saw and what you thought. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Um, like you said, we're with Christian County Rescue Team out of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Um, we went, We have three uh, four-wheelers uh, tonight, today, um, searching different wooded areas and stuff. Uh, we did start searching a creek. Uh, we did ride probably pretty good well uh, ways down uh, the creek um, and come across a... Uh, a tarp that was hanging over a tree limb looked like to us. Um, next thing you know, uh, Matt here, uh, he did uh, initial, did make contact with Jordan. Um, kind of spooked him a little bit, but that's a good spook uh, because we found him and we're very happy to, to help you guys out and help everybody out in the family. Um, and we did get him, uh, he had a good little full wheeler ride all the way back in, so uh, he was pretty happy. So we're glad to, that we were able to be a part of it. Awesome. Great. Sheriff, anything you want to say? Oh my gosh, behind all these masks are nothing but smiles. You can tell from our eyes. So we are so relieved. The odds were way against us as each night went by. And so we, we, our hearts were starting to sink. And then this miracle happens. He was he was in tune enough that he saw this tarp tied up. It looks like it was, it was up against a, a tree from maybe high water. He got up underneath that and, and, and stayed there. Um, Kent, Thank Christian County enough. People from all around, all around the South, came here, and these these are our heroes of, of the day. Um, but he was he was found um, off of a Valley View at 2075 Valley View, and um, just sitting under a tree. He did not have any shoes on, no socks, no sh no jacket. So it's just a, a true miracle, and he's happy right now. He's he's all smiles. Um, we asked him if he knew we were looking for them. Did he hear any, he see any helicopters? And, but he says, no, no, you know, it's just no big deal. But a uh, miracle happened today. Like a typical nine-year-old, he's in the yep. command post right now and he's talking about, I saw these deer and I saw these bucks and all of this sort of stuff. It's just, it's so quite remarkable that he had the fortitude to find this tarp and create for himself a makeshift shelter. I actually have a picture or two of those as well as some pictures of the creek bed where he was located and I'll soon put those out on Twitter for you to be able to see what that looked like but again as we suspected this was a very rugged densely wooded area where he was found yeah, and so, so again we're incredibly grateful does anybody have any questions that we might be able to take either for myself or the sheriff or or these fine folks I know that you guys said that you know he was all smiles but beyond you know the smiles and such I mean what is going on as far as just getting him treated and right. everything? I mean, what is his condition at this point? Certainly. So we have EMS here, and he's going to be, of course, thoroughly medically evaluated. Obviously, two days in the cold, there are going to be some things yes. that need to be checked out, and we absolutely want to make sure that physically he's fine. But you're absolutely right, Levi. There are still a lot of questions that we have and still some things that need to be tied up and buttoned up in terms of how we got to this point. And so the work will certainly continue from TBI's perspective to answer a lot of the questions as to how we got here. But for now, we just wanted to take a moment and celebrate because it is very rare. It and is. Sheriff, you've been in law enforcement for a very long time. It's very rare that you'll have a missing child situation very. end in this kind of a manner. Do you wanna this maybe is, say something to that effect? This is just the exception to the rule, but also it's just the outpouring of everybody who, who came out and all law enforcement and we were you know, we were concerned about the citizens were just biting at the bit to get in the woods and it was so treacherous and there were, you know, we, we, we were worried about other people getting injured, but uh, it was supposed to happen today and uh, and uh, God, you know, led him to us. And we're, we're just so fortunate and we're so happy for these gentlemen. Yeah. They come all the way down on their own time to do this and we're, we're very, very lucky. One of these guys took your day off today to do this and so we appreciate that. Any other questions? 
reports that maybe he had gotten into a fight with his parents and then took off. Now that he's back, do we know? Was that in fact the case? We're still working to develop yeah. that, obviously. There's many, many questions that we'll still want to answer on the back end. Yeah, we just want to get food in his belly and, and, and warm clothes and all that. So he's, he, he's happy. I couldn't have survived that. No and way. This, this little one did. Same here. <laughs> did you tell us about how far from his house to that creek bed? We're working to do the measurement on that right now, and once we're able to pin that down, we'll be okay. happy to provide that. Oh, you can share. Yeah, right, right at three quarters of a mile. So he, Does every he, indication point to that he's been out there since Sunday? That's one of the things we haven't asked him yet, so we'll we'll be able to find that out in the follow up. Uh, right now, we just we just want to make sure he's he's taken care of, and and his, his you know I know his family is rejoicing. They're probably mad at us, I'm sure, because we put them through the ringer as well. Mm. But it's you know it's, it's one of those things we, we we had to find we needed to find out everything we could about him and the family and all so it just ended good. I was just gonna ask you, when you found him was he saying I was trying to get home or was he just chilling in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> he just liked chilling, <laughs> hanging out like a nightmare. Mm -hmm. well, when we when we did find him we asked him like how long he'd been out he said he didn't really know. Um, then the being there at that spot. Um, he said he was just cold, and he was he, he he was very welcoming to us being there, which is a good thing. And we were very happy to have that happen, yeah. and not have a something happen where he wasn't going to come with us. So we we're very glad about that. Any other questions? Is he being taken to the hospital? Or? I don't know at that point. This all just broke really within the past forty-five minutes. I would assume probably, that he would probably yeah, will sure go to the hospital. Yeah. All right. Well, if no other questions, thank you guys so much. We've got to thank you in the media for God, giving so much great attention. So we thank you as always for all that you've done. And I think we all get to sleep tonight. Yes. And thank you again to the church here, New Life Community. You guys have been so hospitable and so gracious to host us and feed us so well over the past few days. You guys have really made the difference. So thank you so much. And of course, we want to say special thanks as well to SAR, Search Absolutely. and Rescue. They came in, they did the work, they were right here alongside of our folks. And so we really appreciate their support in this effort. So. Thank you all. Have a great night.